Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond back at Disneyland. And this is a park wide merch search. Yes, we are going to go in every store that we possibly can. Yeah. We're going to show you all the merchandise, what's new, what's looking good, yeah. what we've seen before. So you can come virtually shop with us. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. All aboard, uh, according to the train. So all aboard the <laughs> merch search train. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Now, let me ask you a question before we get started. Have you subscribed to our channel? If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click and subscribe. Subscribe. All right, first stop, the Emporium on Main Street. Right off the bat, we're finding some Christmas merchandise. We've had this sweater. We've shown it a few times on some videos. But it's worth showing again. $99.99 before your discount if you have a magic key. Yeah, I've been calling it the spirit sweater because it's like a spirit jersey in a sweater form. True. Uh, I think it's going to be very popular. I mean, I think so, but I do know there's a lot of Christmas merch, and I see some new merch behind you for Christmas. Look at this. We found some more. This is cool. New Christmas. I think I'll be buying this today. It's got his little candy cane. Look how it's literally cute a cane. this is. <laughs> it's a little pullover sweater, and it is $54.99 for that. That's great. Just plain on the back. Very simple. I like but it. I think that's what we like best, right? Yeah, that's really cool. Oh this this whole section is Christmassy. What's this here? Oh, it's the countdown clock. Oh, we got our countdown set up. There it is, 25 days. Well, yes. not yet, but there you go. And it's $54.99. And look at how cute these are. They're little stockings, Mickey and Minnie stockings. And I like that they're kind of a vintage style with yeah. the decorations. Yeah. So let's take a closer look at the mini stocking. Her and Daisy are decorating and it's just, it's really cute. And by the way, these are really soft. Yeah, especially the super, top right there. Oh my gosh, super soft, $34.99 for that. And here is the Mickey and Pluto stocking, and it's got <laughs> a Mickey Holly Berry on it, which I oh, just cool. love, if that's not adorable. We are in the market for some stockings, so... We are. Maybe we'll use these with our 30% off, I don't know. I don't know. I also see a tree topper back here. Oh, and it's like a vintage... Let's see style so it's actually mickey and minnie okay and oh, there the it back is. has minnie popping out and the front has mickey that is adorable that's 49.99 for that tree topper there now we've had this for a while but it's worth mentioning this beanie is classic and it's you know coming to be the winter season so be a good thing to have in your backpack and check out this cute little christmas pillow right here i just love it look at all the characters and it's actually really soft, a great quality. This is only $39.99, which in my opinion, I think that's kind of worth it, especially if you're a Magic Key Holder and you get that discount. This is an adorable pillow. I love this. And check out this cute blanket we found for $59.99. This is actually what the print looks like. It's uh, Mickey and Minnie decorating a tree and it says merriest place on earth. But just so you know that the red is more of like a, a bright classic Christmas red. Super cute, very soft. We also have the Euro Disney ears. These are for Paris's uh, 30th anniversary. Um, originally when that park opened, it was called Euro Disney. So we actually got these ears. That's so weird. Um, yeah, so pretty interesting. I wasn't expecting that we would get that merchandise. They, they're pretty cute and I, Love the like 1992 version Mickey, pretty cute. And another lounge fly bag that we found. This is a really cool one. It's the teacups. Stacked. I love that it's got that holographic yeah. top on there. I think this one's actually a better it. size and a better value. And I love the uh, interior of it. It's got the Mad Hatter and a bunch of teacups. That's great. Isn't that adorable? And that is $80 for that bag. And I love this shirt here. This is $36.99 as well. It's just a cute little happy Disney castle. It's almost, you know. And it's a short sleeve baseball tee, yeah. which is interesting. Which is totally doable and cute in my opinion. Yeah. And we also have this keychain for the carousel. So if you're thinking about getting this, like realize it's really heavy. It is no joke. It is $14.99 for that. We've entered mug area, mug life. Uh, say it right. It's mug life. Okay. I don't say mug it like that. Life. You do. That's that's your thing. We're in it. Okay. So we're not going to go over every single price because they all are about, you know, uh, $14.99 to $19.99, maybe $25.99. This is a really cool Toy Story one. It says reach for the sky. That's I cool. like it. 
And the, the clouds are kind of like a silvery metallic. Very, very well made. I like that one a lot. I haven't really seen this one, but it's a really cute Alice in Wonderland mug. I love the colors, almost Mary Blair style. We have a really nice Bambi mug right here. Really kind of a thin top, so I don't know if I would ever buy that. Absolutely love this Cinderella mug. This is gorgeous. It's almost like a marbly paint. It says my happy place. I really kind of like it. It's a it's little different. bit different, but it, it's nice. And then we have these gargantuan uh, catastrophes. Wait, she has teeth on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a trip. They're $19.99, by the way. They are uh, Marie <laughs> and Stitch. Yeah. I don't like them. They're a little too big. I don't think they're made for like coffee. I would say they're more for like putting maybe some cereal or something to munch on in but there. The bottom graphics are genius, come it, on. It is good, That's you, got, first, you gotta give them that. Yeah. <laughs> Love this Daisy mug, it says, it's all about me. I think I'm gonna have to consider getting this. Oh no. And if you watched our weekly Disneyland update video we posted just yesterday, you'll recognize where this mug is from. All right, my favorite attraction, Haunted Mansion, and that is like one of the big planters that you oh, see. Oh, that's what it is. Uh, in the exterior, yeah. Would you like to drink from that? That would be very awkward to drink from. It is, but, but it's it is cute. pretty cool. I like it a lot. Oh, Grogu. All right, this is another new line. These are some cute little slippers we found. $29.99. Very cute, Mickey and Minnie. This is a very heavy, heavy, soft, plush coat we have here. Yeah. This is $89.99 for this, but it is very, very soft, like extremely soft, and it's got all the characters on it. It's a fab fiber. It's a fab fiber. And in that line, we also have this really nice, very good quality Mickey Mouse shirt. I just love the colors of this line. It's I really love cool. the, the different um, use of colors. This is $36.99 as well. That's a great shirt. I love it. All right, let's keep it fuzzy. Look at this. And $39.99. This this is the cutest little neon bag I've ever seen. That I think, is awesome. I think Spencer's gonna let me get that because we get 30% off. What's on the back, anything? Mm, I don't think anything. All right. It's just nice and it is adjustable. What's on the inside? Oh, there's a pattern on the inside. Uh-oh, did that just sell it for you? All right, leaving the Emporium. Moving on, just adjacent to the Emporium, the Fortuosity Shop. And right off the bat, we have a ton of Tiana merchandise. Some things I haven't even seen. Look at this cute little bag. Oh, that's cool. Dreams are made. Oh, I love that. We have a cute little shirt. The shirt is $39.99. It's a little bit more on the, kind of like the higher end with the quality. You can feel the fabric. Really cute. I actually really like that one a lot. We also have the color by Courtney or color me Courtney that her ears. An adorable bag here and another adorable bag. Probably my favorite, even though it's obviously too small for me it's to a ever use. Suitcase. But isn't it cute? That's cool. And the highlight, in my opinion, is this lovely sweatshirt. The only reason I wouldn't get it is just because it's crop top. It's a crop style. So oh, yeah. just be advised if that's something you're looking at. Very collegiate. It is, but I love that color. It's really popular right yeah. now. Yeah. All right, leaving Fortuosity. Time for Clothiers, one of my favorite stores. Yes. Let's get in there. It'll be crowded in here, so hang on tight. Hold on tight. Oh boy, bright colors yet again. Look at that. Right off the bat, and it's a knitted. Ooh, that's heavy too. Really soft, good quality. This is $69.99. Wow. Really nice sweater. They also have a Minerva right here. There she is. Very, very cute. These are adorable. Ooh, it's like a set almost, yeah. yeah. And speaking of Mickey and Minnie, we also found these other pullovers. Yeah, these, these are just regular sweatshirts. Yeah, these are just regular material. They're $44.99. I like how They're hers is pink and then that one's red. red. That's nice yeah. how it complements, but those are cool. Really cute. Again, another pair. So we found a bunch of Aristocats merchandise and what <laughs> did they do to poor Marie? Look at her. She looks sad. What is this? The other guys look a little disheveled. Yeah, to lose it. They do not look happy. This is $36.99 for that shirt, and that is and that is sad. Um, this is a crop, by the way, so keep in mind. Marie at least looks a little cute right there, in my opinion. Sure. They also have her with that horrible design on these cute sweatpants. Um, I don't know what they were thinking. Not cool. Now here's a pocket tee that I actually like. That's great, how they're hanging off of the pocket. Yeah. That's genius. I uh, love them. The kind of an off-white, yeah, nothing on the back. Very cute, simple, simple and cute. We also have this Alice in Wonderland. It looks like Dinah right there. We also have this pullover. 
almost looks slightly crappy, but it's the, uh, you know, really, really nice Wonderland. I love these green tones, very cute, and it matches these Alice in Wonderland ears that previously, I think you could only get these in the um, UK pavilion, if I'm not mistaken, in Epcot, but okay. now you can get them here. And along with the ears, you could also get the matching sweatpants. You have to go with that there same you go. color. All right, headed past the toy soldier. Mm -hmm. Bodesa. Into the china closet we go. And you'll see there's a ton of Christmas stuff here that we found in the china closet. If you want to get a detailed review of that, you can check out our latest Disneyland update episode. We will link in the description box below. All right, china closet. We're out of here. All right, we're headed into Tomorrowland. Let's see what they have over at the Star Trader. Look at this behind the counter jumbo. No, no. Original series too. That's that's massive. Okay. That is just to awesome. give you an idea. <laughs> yeah, the like you, you can know see a helmet right there next to it. They even had the life size ones, not with the card obviously, but they had those back in launch bay. And yes, I'm wearing my Christmas sweater because I forgot my regular jacket and I'm cold. This is what happens at merch search. <laughs> Love it. Things start getting purchased. Okay, I know this is supposed to be like mostly merchandise, but I just found these and I wonder are goofy sour gummies gone and now they're just Whatever Stitch's girlfriend's name is that I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Are they her sour gummies? Do they taste the same? The questions we will be asking. <laughs> okay, we found this Tron hat. Look at this. That's a cool hat. I want to say this might have also been at D23. We just didn't see it on the day we went. That is awesome. And that's the, a cool the bill hat. Is all up like yeah, that. that's so awesome. Wow. And uh, there's the back. It's for the, for the 40th. 40th. Yeah. And it is $34.99 and it's 59 centimeters. Uh, if that's the size you're looking for. That means anything for. to you, yeah. These are the new Ahsoka Tana I was say, ears. Oh, Ahsoka Tana. So you have her and Mickey. And the ears. That's cool, and I love the little gems, how they're like, they're not just, you know, they could have easily just made them sparkly. Super cute, I like these a lot. Oh, we've located some Andor merch. Yes, we did. Look how cool that is. This is a, it's a satchel in Indiana Jones where it's not. Yeah. Actually, I have no idea what that. Uh, it is $44.99. All right. We also found a tumbler right here. It's a Andor, like or a, a coffee thermos type thing, I guess you'd yeah. say. Cool how and it's twisted like that, yeah. Yeah, $24.99 for that. There's also uh, a couple of sweatshirts. This one is interesting because it's got a zipper pocket up front, which I like. And then we got a little Cassie and Andor Rebel Spy on the back. Some we haven't watched this yet. We haven't. It was next on our list, though. Yeah, we got to finish. Oh, we just finished uh, Obi-Wan. Right. Okay, I love this long sleeve. It's a TIE fighter. Yeah. Also, I think from Andor. Yeah. I, I think it's I that line. So. This is a really nice long sleeve, though. It's like a blueprint version. It's yeah. so awesome. Really cool. Very soft. And then we also found a t-shirt with that same graphic and uh, there he is right there. He's got target on him. All right, night has fallen since we were inside the Star Trader, but it is time to move on, Katie. Yes, we are actually going to skip store command here in Tomorrowland. They Which have is, a, it's right over there. It's yeah, the Buzz Lightyear store. They have a big selection of pins, but they actually have a, in our opinion, we like the selection over in Frontierland. Okay, we made it over to Frontierland and we are now at Western Co. Trading Co. Trading Company where they have a lot of pins. It's pretty much the focus of this store. Um, I love this right here. It's a Dapper Dan's. Although it's a Funko Pop, I just love the Dapper Dan's and I love the Mickey balloons. That's cool. Isn't that that's like cute? A, it's kind of jumbo-y. It's pretty it's big. It's kind of jumbo. It's like almost jumbo. Almost it's jumbo. $15.99 for that. I'll call it a mini jumbo. Mini jumbo. Yeah. Look at this cute flower collection. Oh, that's cool. Aren't those beautiful? That's a new. Uh, that's a new thing I've not seen yet. Yeah, I've not seen that. It is so cute. Uh, $9.99 for that set. And these are just cracking me up. Look at Chippendale. That's so funny. And the peanut. So cute. <laughs> and we saw this collection in our update video. It's that like pizza thing. Pretty cute. Poison apple. Oh yeah, if I was still collecting, I'd have bought that. Kind of dig that. I'd rather be at Disneyland. That needs to be a t-shirt. All right, let's check out what's new in the limited edition box. Wait, when did we get X-Men pins? Yeah, I don't know. Look at that. Um, I would have bought that 100%. Gambit? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's rad. Look at the teacup with the pot. So that's a collection for the princesses, and each princess has their own, like, you know, oh, theme. Oh, that makes sense. Set. Got it, got it. So it's like a series. Mr. Skellington, I presume. <laughs> Dancing Star Wars uh, pins. And another really cool Jack Skellington. He's, he's trimming the tree. And he's wrecked the halls. So this is really cool. It's like a home collection of 
pins. Uh, I think that's really cool. It's like my home is epic. This one's like, oh, I love this with Merlin. Oh, and that's awesome. And they got a good selection of the fig pins as well. A bunch of different ones. Look at this limited release Bambi. That's cool. This is for 80 years. Now this is something I don't see at the other stores. It's like this uh, this backpack, this Mickey backpack for $49.99. It's really cool. Pretty functional. It's like the kind of the crossbody one strap pack. But I really like it. Uh, you don't see that at most of the other stores. All right, we're gonna hit out the back door of the cabin. Just across the street, Pioneer Mercantile since 1807. Hey, are these, uh, are these those lanterns that you see when they're blasted? Yeah, yeah, uh -oh. up there on Old Big Thunder. Uh -oh. You see a red lantern, that means, yes, they're blasting. Uh-oh. Okay, these are cool. Yeah, they're like uh, Monsters, Inc. headbands. And they light up. Like... Yeah, you got the Mike Wazowski eyes. I feel like there's some sort of button that would make his, like, you know, horns move and then his eyeball. But I, I can't figure it out. I think you need to have batteries. Okay. I think, I don't know, but then uh, it's funny, the bottom is his hands. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. And then let's take a look at the Sully. Oh, 10 bucks, there you go. I mean, I think that's it, but they also say brown on the tag. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Yeah, I wonder if he does anything, like if you move his, oh yeah, his eyebrows and his horns move. Oh, that's genius. Horns move. That's cool. We found a bunch of stuff from uh, Mexico Pavilion, right? Yeah, or, well, it's Coco, but I think some of this from one of my friends was in the Mexico Pavilion and saw a lot of this stuff. These are great. Like, these, these... Aren't these glasses yeah, amazing? Yeah, these are really cool. This is so... What are they charging for those? Uh, these glasses are $14.99 each. And they've got and some plates. Yeah, they have a whole set of four plates <laughs> and they're all different. Yeah. Each plate. There's... Ernesto! Uh-oh. There he is. Look at the picture. So vibrant. These yeah. are vibrant. Miguel. This is a cool tie-dye, too. Look at this. Yeah, that's really cool. But I especially love this pillow. Like, this is beautiful. That's really cool. Yeah. Show the bottom of it. There you go. See, it's it's got that in the bottom. and then. Yeah. Very nice. And they're even selling Miguel's guitar. How cool is that? No way. And it's $79.99. Okay, this sweatshirt's really cool. They've got like a tie-dye sleeve, which I've never seen, just isolated. And then obviously that logo. It looks like a like a concert sweatshirt, you know? Really great and kind of distressed, but it's really soft at the same time. And it's $59.99 for that Coco sweatshirt. I like that. Oh, and look at this. Then they have the matching sweats for it. Again, with that isolated tie-dye. I like that a lot. $49.99. Fly high, Pepita. Look at that. Dude. That's great. All right, back on the sour candy uh, tip. Look at this. Sour flowers. Dude. Fruity, fruity. Those look, look how good. pretty they look. I'm realizing we made a mistake that this was all just cocoa merchandise. This was the Mexico Pavilion merchandise. Oh, okay. Here. This thing is cool. Um, yeah. We used to get very these nice. in Ensenada uh, with different patterns on them. This is very... Um, the material's almost like like woolen. I know it's not, but it feels like wool a little it's bit. Close, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's really nice. What are they charging for this? Sixty four ninety nine. Sixty four. That's cool. But throw, yeah, throw over for the beach. Yeah. And then all this stuff uh, is all Mexico Pavilion. Oh yeah, because look, yeah. there they are. That's really cool. But I think the the cups oh, and the glassware. Oh, these are amazing. Fourteen ninety nine for that. And then the margarita glass is genius and then uh the pitcher. The pitcher as well check out this cool encanto sweater that's really cool really nice we actually have a whole line of encanto stuff oh this is nice i haven't seen that yeah it's like a spirit jersey-ish type thing i like that on the sleeves we have a oh boy Bruno. oh this is an interesting little uh a little sweatshirt yeah I might have to get that for Kaylee. And over by our friend Buffalo, there he is. They're, they're doing all the uh, National Geographic merch in here as yep. well. All right, leaving the mercantile. Look at this. Come out under the Halloween tree, which, you know, almost looks like they added more lights to it. I don't know. I feel like it's definitely well All right, we made it over to New Orleans Square. A beautiful night on the river. And on Royal Street, you can see up at Club 33, there's some really spooky lighting going on. Yeah, I think there's like a Halloween themed party or something to that effect going on. That's really cool. They should leave that up all the time for Halloween season. Oh! Wow! That way it looks 
like lightning when you're Dude, in the dining room, probably. That is amazing, even for out here. I love it. Finally really caught it, because I we saw that from the Mark Twain the other night, and I was wondering what it was. I thought they were taking photos or something like. I love but it. But that is really cool. Royal Street is spooky. Okay, we found this outside uh, on Royal Street. Just at a, there's a cart over here, and uh, it's a, basically a big wand, like a Mickey glow wand. Sorcerer and Mickey. Sorcerer and Mickey, right there. And the lighting effects can change. Oh, that's so cool. So just wait for it. Ready? Strobe, strobe warning. Um, very colorful, but one of the coolest things it does is projects images out of the bottom. Look at that. Isn't that wild? I mean. $25. And the farther you point that thing away, like the image gets pretty big. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Okay, uh, Katie insisted on getting this. <laughs> You're leading the you're leading the parade now. <laughs> the parade to pieces of eight. Here we go. All right. So a little bonus about pieces of eight is sometimes it can kind of smell a little bit like the pirates' water because it wafts in here. Yeah, because the exit of the attraction is like right literally there. right there. Yeah. So, so let's go see what they have in here, and then we'll make it over to uh, Port Royal. Port Royal. All right. This shirt's really cool. Captain of a mangy crew. <laughs> the skull and crossbones. That's great. Hey, Spencer. Dead men tell no tales. This is true. I, have I a like thing this. For pirates. It's like the classic uh, tattoo. Oh, look! It's the pirates cue from Walt Disney World. Yeah, it looks like Walt Disney World, but it's a Christmas ornament, and it is twenty nine ninety nine. Quite possibly my favorite thing here: the set of keys that the dog holds. You, you can get them here. Because the they're they're like they're real. They're like made no, out of they're steel. They're like legit. Look at this. Oh, that is so cool. Fear the beards or there be trouble, Jack. That is amazing. It's all fun and games until someone needs an eye. Right, because the old saying is it's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. Yeah. Oh hey, look, and there's the companion hat for the Mangy Crew t-shirt. This is a nice long sleeve tee. Pirates. Of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, 1973. Instant pirate, just add water. It should say pirate water. Instant pirate water. And the one thing that's cool about Pieces of Eight is all the details and the theming in here. You gotta pay attention. One of my favorite details is this pirate scabbard sword, whatever you want to call it, as a rack for clothing. And right next door is Port Royal. You can actually transition from shop to shop, but we came outside to go back in. Port Royal. Here we go. Oh boy. Lady with the scepter coming in. Watch out. <laughs> now this store is uh, Haunted Mansion themed. If you couldn't tell, pretty obvious. Uh, a pirate store and a mansion store right next to each other. Look at this Nightmare Before Christmas countdown calendar. Yeah, I like that. It's really cool. Oh, I love it. And it actually lights up, by the way. Oh, no way. Yeah, I love it. It's just the kind of spot that it's even worth just to come and check out the decor. Now here is something that is in high demand. She's using it as a pointer now. Uh, the, the mini Haunted Mansion um, Lego set, which sold out so fast at yep. the Lego store at Downtown Disney when it came out, but now... They have a wall of that. An abundance of these. Uh, our friend Kenzie has one. Uh, but these are really cool. They're very sought after, and they are available here at Port Royal. If I was a Lego person, yes, I would 100% get this. Of course, this is another shop that you have to look up above your normal eye line to see a lot of the detail and the theming. And then in between Port Royal, and pieces of eight, you'll see the Jack and Sally photo op that when they're not here, uh, you can just come and take your own photos. It's very well themed, uh, but if you happen to catch them during the day, it's a great photo op as well. You got jack-o'-lanterns, you got Zero's doghouse. How cool is this? We do such a great job with it. All right, we've arrived in Adventureland at the Bazaar, also known as Adventureland Traders. All right, so they still have uh, the van stuff for Walt Disney World's 50th most of it uh, that you can see in the back here. Some of the shoes, which who knows what kind of sizes they have. You'd have to ask in the back, like it says right there. This sweatshirt, I don't think we've featured yet. That's cool. No, and it's got the park icon. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Very cool for the 50th. And the classic ringer tee as well. Pretty much the regular stuff, Indiana Jones, that kind of thing. But uh, the only thing really kind of new is the Vans collection that we yeah, showed you. It, Even though we've shown it before, but we just wanted to- sweatshirt, the park icon sweatshirt. That was kind of newer, yeah. Probably the newest thing. Every Everything else is pretty much the same. Making our way back down Main Street, and that is gonna do it. We hope you guys enjoyed that merch search park wide. Yeah, we, you know, we skipped a few stores and whatnot, but for the most part, 
we didn't want it to be super redundant, so sometimes if we skip stores, it's because we know most of that merchandise is a little bit repetitive. But either way, we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can let us know by giving this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you to our patrons. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody.